Hello and welcome back to our new video. Now today we're actually going to be getting into how to install Windows 11 to Proxmox specifically. Since Windows 11 does require a few different things, um, a very large drive for one, uh, TPM, Secure Boot, other things like that. And we'll be using a demonstration ISO of Enterprise, but this should work for just about anything. Um, to note as well, we will be using this Windows 11 install for later demonstrations with Microsoft Active Directory. But for now, we're just going to go through the install process, get it up and running, and then we'll play with the other settings later. So to get started, let's go ahead and set up a new VM. We'll give it Y2 Windows like before, and then dash Win 11. Next, we're going to go use our Windows 11 install DVD here. Where is it? Where is it? Windows 11 demo. And then the guest OS is going to be type Microsoft Windows 11 slash 2022. And then because we will need a driver for our SCSI uh, that we're going to add, we're going to add additional drive for Vert.io. And then we should have the Vert.io from Windows 10 right here. Hit next. Q35 machine, all that good stuff. Make sure it is UFI or the own VF, however you want to say it. We'll add the EFI disk and the target storage where we're going to put all this is going to be a Nexus or data array. It's going to be relatively small for both the TPM and the EFI storage. So you can really put this anywhere you want as long as you have maybe a gigabyte. Um, it sh shouldn't really be hefty. And then TPM storage, once again, Nexus. We'll go ahead, pre-enroll those secure boot keys. I mean, it is Microsoft Windows, so it should be fine. Because that heft, we are going to do a 64 gig storage. And then we'll do four cores of CPU to start. And because this is an older server, I do have to do host. And then we'll do 16,384 megabytes or 16 gigs of memory. No firewall on our default VM bridge zero. Next, and go ahead and start it up. Now, if we go into the VM here, Windows 11, come on. Go ahead and collapse this console. This should be asking to start from a CD here momentarily. There it is. Give it a minute just to get set up, configured, and everything ready. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead, hit next, install. And then we're going to hit our enterprise version since we're going to need this later. Accepted license terms and agreement. Install Windows only. And this is where your first issue is going to come into play. Like I said earlier, we loaded in those vert IO drivers, which you can uh, download from the Proxmox wiki. I'll make sure to link that in the description, but we're going to load those drivers for uh, virtual SCSI. So we're going to go load driver, hit OK. It'll scan everything. And as you can see here, any of these realistically should work, but just to make sure that we are as picky as possible, as specific, paying attention to detail, we're going to hit this one with a W11. As you can see here, these are all for 64-bit devices, which is what Windows 11 found. And then each of these are actually the version of Windows. So these are all server, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 7. So we'll do the Red Hat Vert IO SCSI pass-through controller at D, which letter doesn't matter, and then AMD 64, uh, W11 for Windows 11, and then VIO SCSI.INF. Hit next. Should install the drivers momentarily for the install. And there it is, our 64 gig drive we created earlier. We'll go ahead and hit next. And it'll go ahead and install Windows. Now, depending on your drive speed and other factors, this may take some time. So I'm going to go ahead, pause the video, and we'll get right back to it. Okay, now everything is set up. We'll go ahead and go through the setup process. Yep. We're in the US, US input method, don't add another one. We don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. I think it's just because it doesn't have the uh, DNS IP address because ours is internal with a lockdown network. So we'll go ahead, do Yeehaw, it's Jake. Continue with a local account. We'll just do password. Password. And our security questions, what's your first pet's name? Nope. Where's the city you were born? Neverville, Arizona. 
and what's your childhood nickname don't go through that process and we're going to turn all of this off because i don't agree with microsoft spying on me they can go to hell except and then once again you're going to let windows take its sweet little time setting it up so i'll go ahead pause the video again and then we'll go back through the process and make sure everything is set up okay okay now that we are in our system here we'll go ahead and verify network connectivity fairly certain it is just the dns but we'll make sure okay nope so we're most likely missing some drivers so let's dive right in and go to device manager just verify let's see here yep so it looks like we are missing the drivers for ethernet and other system controllers we'll go browse after right clicking update that driver on ethernet controller browse again and we're going to look for that vert io win cd drive right there We'll include subfolders in that. Hit next. I'll go ahead and install those drivers. There we go. Close. And just this one, I'm not sure what this is, so we'll go through the same process again, just in case. Okay, it's our RAM balloon driver. So now that those two have been installed, everything else should be ready to go. Yep, I don't see any other missing devices. And if we do this, see here to make sure we're not missing anything. I think I blocked ICMP, so we'll take a look. Go away. No. Thank you. Okay. And Google.com. Yep. Okay. So we got internet access. Our desktop is ready for use and for our future videos so if you guys do like it make sure to subscribe comment and let me know what you uh, want me to cover in the future and as for uh one of the recent videos i did make on the ubiquity uh adding cards and fingerprints to your doorbell uh it is yes it is a little quiet i do plan on either getting a uh, one of those dji clip on microphones or maybe i'll use a bluetooth headset next time but like i said any comment is helpful thank you guys very much for your support and uh tally ho and have a good one